In 1960, a small pill sparked a global transformation. When the FDA approved Enovid, the first oral contraceptive, it offered women more than pregnancy prevention. It offered autonomy, control over fertility, control over time. Over 65 years later, that tiny tablet still sits in countless bathroom drawers. But now, after decades of tweaks, we may be on the brink of the next great leap in reproductive science. The birth control pill is one of the most important medical inventions in modern history. It's safe, effective, and widely used. Yet it's not perfect. For many, side effects like mood swings, headaches, or blood clots limit its use. Others can't take it at all, especially those sensitive to estrogen or with certain health conditions. The standard formulation, based on synthetic estrogen and progestin, hasn't changed much, but science, as always, moves forward. And now, with GnRH antagonists, we're looking at a fundamentally new approach. Let's take a step back. Your reproductive system is regulated by a trio of powerhouses, the hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and ovaries. Together, they form the HPO axis. At the top, the hypothalamus releases a key messenger, GnRH, or gonadotropin-releasing hormone. GnRH triggers the release of FSH and LH, hormones that stimulate the ovaries to develop follicles and ovulate. In short, no GnRH, no ovulation. GnRH antagonists block this signal right at the source. They bind to the GnRH receptors, preventing the cascade of hormonal events that lead to ovulation. That means no egg is released, no chance for fertilization, and it works fast. Even better, this method works in people who can't tolerate traditional estrogen-based contraceptives. By adding back small physiological doses of estrogen and progestin, symptoms like hot flashes and bone loss can be avoided, while still providing full contraceptive control. This is Relugolix CT, a triple combination pill. 40 mg of Relugolix, the GnRH antagonist, 1 mg of estradiol to stabilize estrogen levels, and 0.5 mg of norethindrone acetate, NETA, a progestin to protect the endometrium. This formulation works with precision. It shuts down ovulation, keeps hormone levels in a natural-like range, and prevents the thickening of the uterine lining, which is important for safety and long-term use. In a recent clinical study, 70 women were enrolled to test the effectiveness of Relugolix CT over 84 days. The results were extraordinary. Among the 67 women who completed treatment, 100% showed no ovulation. Hormone levels remained consistently low and no LH surges, those essential pre-ovulation spikes, were detected. When treatment stopped, hormone production resumed. Ovulation returned in an average of 23.5 days. That's fast. A powerful benefit for those who want flexible fertility management without long-term suppression. So how exactly does Relugolix CT prevent pregnancy? Low FSH halts follicular growth. Low LH blocks ovulation and prevents the formation of the corpus luteum, the structure responsible for progesterone production. Estradiol levels are kept within early follicular phase range, low but natural. NETA protects the uterus from excessive estrogen stimulation. Together, this creates a balanced hormonal state that prevents pregnancy without triggering the harsh swings seen in older formulations. But the applications go beyond daily contraception. Because GnRH antagonists act rapidly, they're ideal for emergency contraception, possibly more effective than current options. They also give fertility specialists a powerful new tool for IVF cycle scheduling. And yes, research suggests that GnRH antagonists combined with testosterone could finally make male contraception a real possibility. Controlled, reversible, shared responsibility. The future of birth control isn't just coming, it's already here. With Relugolix CT, we're stepping into a world where contraception is smarter, faster, and more inclusive. And that's not just revolutionary, that's evolution.